One of the biggest things that burns me out about EU4 is just the amount of time you have to spend and the tedium of playing in the late game and that is why I love an achievement that you can get done rather quickly. And using this very cheesy strat, you're actually able to get one of the least achieved achievements in the game in a matter of minutes, and actually do it before the 10 year mark has even passed. And if you're anything like me, a good old Wisconsin boy, you love you some cheese. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Ice Pyre EU4 video and today I have a pretty special treat for you guys. So there is an achievement in the game called David the Builder with only a 0.6% completion rate. This achievement has been out for some time and it actually baffles me that the achievement rate has not been significantly higher. This achievement simply, you start as Imoretti and form the nation of Georgia while having zero empty building slots. Now traditionally if you build all the buildings in all of these slots is going to require a lot of ducats which means you're going to need to expand and actually start conquering and conquering and it's going to take a while but we'll be able to cheese this achievement rather easily and get the achievement by this date down here 10th of february 1452 is when i got it in my first test run to see if this cheese actually worked so i want to show you guys how i ended up doing that and getting this achievement by that date and how i cheese the game to get one of the more elusive achievements in the game off of my checklist all right, so with that being said, let's uh, load into it. So we'll load into Imoretti here. We'll pick Iron Man mode and we'll name it Builder. Builder, here we go. And we'll start Iron Man. All right, so for this achievement, the early wars are actually pretty easy. So if you look at the religious map mode, we are a few Coptic nations in a sea of Sunni. So, excuse me, we are a few Orthodox nations in a sea of Sunni. So that means that the number of allies you're gonna be able to get are are pretty, pretty limited. So I'm able to actually rival both uh, Simans and Georgia right out of the gate without them seeking any allies for each of them because Georgia wants Simansk and they're not gonna ally each other up. Um, we're gonna be able to take all of these guys in one war here and one war here, core it up, form the nation of Georgia and get the achievement the second that our core is finished. So let's rival both of them, go over to our estates um, we'll give some achieve some privileges to the burgers. We'll give uh, trade fleets and free enterprise to the burgers. Nobility can have right of council and supremacy over the crown. And clergy can have. Let's see. We'll give them advisory council, and we'll also give them oversight for now. Uh, we can add more stuff later as we see fit. I'm not going to seize crown land here because it doesn't matter because the achievement will be done before we get the benefits of having low crown land. So we'll leave everything as is. I'm not going to die it either. There's no need for that if we're doing a very speedy achievement. We're not going to take our leader into a general because our nation will fall under personal union. If our leader dies, unfortunately, we did not get any siege pips or that many combat pips up here, but we should be able to still um, drill this guy and make ourselves to force limit rather easily. We're gonna make sure we have nine units and we're gonna start building spy networks on our two rivals that we have assigned. And with that being done, we are pretty much set to go. We're gonna turn ourselves up to speed four or five here and just wait for our uh, claims to start. We're gonna stop drilling once we get to, okay, now we're at force limit. We'll take this for extra morale. We're at force limit now. We're gonna wait until this gets to about one more tick and then we're gonna stop drilling. All right, drilling has been ceased. And we're going to try and actually take out Georgia first because they are stronger, they'll build more units. Um, so we'll try and attack them first. Once we have a good hold over this fort here, we'll move down and try and stack wipe these guys. All right, one more month. All right, we'll move this down to about speed three so we don't miss anything. Um, we're gonna build a claim on this province here. Perfect. All right, and then we'll uh, declare that war after a day has passed, or there we go, we have the Conquest Castle Spell right now. So we'll declare that war. And we'll sit here. Now these guys hopefully won't get any allies in the meantime. Um, in my test run, I did declare the war on them right after, but it's important to get this fort so that Georgia can't march through here while we siege down this level nine fort, or this level three fort, which requires our whole army to be sitting here. Um, in order to, to siege that down. So we'll try and get this siege before that happens. Speed five here. All right, they're up to four force limit. 
Good shortage there. We're still looting. These guys will still sit at one. We did forget to send our merchant out. We can get some extra money by collecting or sending from Persia. Oh no, he's on route. We did send him. Okay. There he is. Transferring more. All right, let's gain that Patriarch Authority. We're going to set our focus to Diplo here so we make sure that we get our Diplotech as fast as possible. Because we need our admin to core up, so Diplotech is what we need to build our marketplace. All right, we breached the wall. That's good. Once we take this fort, we'll, uh, we'll march down here. Make sure we claim that as well. They are allied to Circassia, unfortunately. So we'll take them out in separate wars. Not a big deal. All right, we have this um, finished. I do want to try and bait them onto this mountain fort so we can hopefully fight them where we have an advantage. I will win the fight here. We'll improve with these guys. Hire another general here. Nope, still no siege pips. Unfortunately, we need to fight Circassia as well, but uh, that's just going to give us more money so we can build our building a little bit safer. Once we get the siege, actually, that's the big thing. If they can win a tick. Not possible, though. It's the ice sports just too strong. All right, here we go. Hopefully. I'll take that. That's a very good thing to have it happen right now. I'm not going to lose my admin points. All right, we can start coring this stuff. Take all of their money. Start the cores. We just need this province from them, so we can just piece them out once we occupy everything. Now we are going to state this up once we get the chance. All right, we'll take our next level of our dip tech. Siege is over. We only need the one province from them, so we can just take this uh, and be a happy camper. Now we need to core it up. And um, yeah, we're basically set. So what we're going to be doing now after we core this province up, we're going to be... Um, well, first of all, I need to make sure that my admin is a little bit higher because we're going to be moving our capital. That stability that we took um, really kind of messed up our game plan here. So we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Sure, we'll ally them up. Why not? Because we're going to be building a building in this province and moving our capital here because it already has a fort. So we're going to be moving our, moving our capital here. Um, after we build a building, we're going to be building this here. We're we'll take a loan out for it. It's uh, pretty necessary, actually. So we'll build that here. And we're also going to be reducing our dev by one. So that makes our cap on buildings two uh, instead of three, which puts us at the cap for buildings. So I think you might know where this is going from here. Let's suppress um, some rebels as well while we're at it. Um, we could set our rivals again, why not? Um, hopefully these core up rather quickly. We have cheaper advisors now. So I'll get our admin up a little bit faster. We need that to be 200. He got loans, that's okay, perfectly okay. We just need to get to 200 admin and our cores to finish and we're basically done. <laughs> if we were playing a long campaign, this would be pretty fantastic. 646 ambitious daughter, but no, we'll take the uh, unrest for now. All right, this has been cored up. So we should be able to unite Georgia. Uh, that will change our color. And that's basically it. I'm pretty sure the ideas were the same, unless I'm mistaken. Um, but we're almost to the point where we can finish this achievement here. Oh, revolt in this province. At least our army was standing there. Okay. So we need to state this up. Statify that. We don't need to actually core it up again. Move our capital here once we get 200 admin points. 201 admin points, apparently. 
All right, now we have 201 admin points. We move our capital here. You cannot give away your capital province to a nation that you've released. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing now. So we go on over to our diplomacy tab. If you have the correct DLC, you're able to use this. We're gonna release Armenia. You can also release um, Samantz, which has these three provinces if you fully annex them in the first war with them, which we did not do because we only needed this province from them. We're going to be releasing Armenia. So we'll send that. Basically, um, they gain this one province here and we're going to be giving them all of the provinces apart from our new capital. So we go on over to our new subjects tab here and let's grant them our cores and claims. No, we'll grant them our provinces instead. So basically give them everything that you can. Awesome, so now we are one province minor of Georgia and our new vassal is uh, rather large. But if we go on over to our achievement tab, we see that David the Builder has actually been achieved. And we did this at just about the same amount of time that we did in our test run, nine, excuse me, 1452. If we look at the requirements for the achievement, it only requires that you are Georgia and have no free building slots. So it's, it's pretty simple to figure out that you can actually achieve this achievement. Go ahead and try this for yourself. Uh, I wanna see this achievement skyrocket in the number of people who have achieved it. I wanted at least over 1% within a week of this video coming out. So guys, just go on, do this. It takes you literally 10 minutes if you do it very, very efficiently, maybe even less. I wanna see some speed runs out there on this achievement. I want to give a special shout out to my supporters over on Patreon with special thanks to Corbett Gaming. If you wanna support the channel and have the means to do so, Patreon is the best way to do that. You'll get exclusive access to all of my videos before release, as well as special Discord permissions. So go ahead and join the Discord server, that link will be in the description below, and check out the Patreon while you're at it. Alright guys, well thank you very much everybody for watching, this has been another Ice Pirate E4 video, and as always, I'll see you next time.